have to see as many pretty girls like I do at home. We'll hear the tales of the ordinary British people who have never forgotten their encounter with a man they call the Great. Muhammad Ali was probably the best man. to Britain in 2009 to meet the many friends he's made in this country over the years, including his own son, Henry Cooper. This is likely to be the final visit by the former heavyweight champion, who is now suffering from severe Parkinson's disease. During his time here, he traveled to Hyde on the outskirts of Manchester and the hometown gym of one of his country's most successful boxers. He called, he stripped, he drew up, you know, cool, bang, and then back on the now side. We tried to keep it pretty hush hush because we knew how poor he is now. But then there were a few little whispers must have got out because they absolutely cornered the streets up. We were kind of slow, just to get a glimpse of him. He got out of the car, put the wheelchair out for him, and he started like, to get out of the way. He said, Oh, I'm walking to Ricky's gym. Mm -hmm. You can see what an effort it was for him, but I mean, that summed him up, really. He said, Hey, Ricky, I thought, Oh my God, he knows him. I think probably the people in Britain, the people in the United States, all the people all over the world, I think everybody loves Muhammad Ali because he made boxing what it is today. Ali is now an international sporting hero and hugely popular. But it wasn't always like that. He first came to the UK in 1963, then a world heavyweight opera fighting under his original name, Cassius Clay, to take on local hero, Henry Cooper. And he immediately antagonized the British public. After that first fight with Cuba, Clay had been telling everybody he's going to fall in five, and he kept putting up his five fingers all the way leading up to the fight. Well, Henry Cooper's nothing but a cap. He's a bomb. I'm the world's greatest. He must fall in five rounds, but if you talk about me, I'll cut his three. He was an extremely brash 21 year old, and people in this country hate him. developed by the young heavyweight Good. and his wily trainer, Angelo yeah. Dundee, to whip up interest in the sport. Good boy. Good boy. I know about England. I know what type of individuals they like. They like the close mouth sort of a guy that didn't brag or anything. I knew right away they weren't going to like my guy right away because he talked. And a lot of these people are born men making their marks at me on the street, and that's just going to make it hard on Henry Cooper. We got some notoriety, some publicity, and we sold tickets. That was important. Henry Cooper passed away in 2011. But he often talked about this famous clash with his sons, Jean and Henry Marco. That's you, isn't it? Yeah, the sons. Yeah. Yeah. The first time. Yeah. And he told them that he took Clay's showmanship with a pinch of salt. You know, it wasn't personal. Dad always used to say to us afterwards, he always used to have a glint in his eye. He didn't mean it, you know, it was just his way of selling things to the public, you know, and it was a, a good way of selling because nobody had done it before. Oh, 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 oh